Title? The show doesn't really have a title. The only thing who kind of connects all these works are that, that it's done in metal. Um, it's a bit more about teasing people than pleasing people. Some of my older works are maybe gothic in another sense. They're a bit more off. Tattooing pigs or making shit machines or using computers and design cathedrals or distort Jesus Christ. And there's always this uh, very boyish, geeky uh, approach to the world. This piece is called a Suppository. This is based on uh, mainly on a cathedral in Cologne. But this is like a merge of two obsessions I have. I work with bronzes who are twisted and I like things to spin around, like spinning sculptures. And then I was also working on lots of gothic sculptures who are laser cuts, like these kind of lacy uh, things. And then I, I thought to bring these two together. It's a team of six, seven people who are designing for more than a year on this. And then another year we have other welders, laser cutters to work on this to get it finished. It's also about being in control and discipline. It's another way of making art than we used to see in the 20th century. What I really like about, for example, the technology we use is that we are doing things that even the Renaissance artists I very much admire I kind of say they probably wouldn't be able to do that. They didn't have the computing power. This piece behind you, it's the helix, the double helix, but I made it from crucifixes. And so I make it mathematically perfect. And that's like the beauty of it. It's the order and the discipline and the, the exact calculation of the piece. In every language, in every dialect, everywhere in the world, there's a name for art. It's something difficult to do. I like to make a lot, do a lot of different things, not to worry too much about is it art, is it not art, don't worry, it's just a, a purely taxonomical question.